Hey, and let me let you take a look inside of Anaheim City Council Chambers right now. The Planning Commission meeting just about to get started. And tonight, as you pointed out, commissioners are considering Disneyland's desire to expand. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You probably recognize Chewbacca. This is one of the newer attractions here at Disneyland, built in an area that used to be a back lot because they ran out of space and it was available. This is the first time these kids have been here. Did you think Disneyland was going to be as big as it is? No. And it may get bigger. The idea here is to not expand the footprint of Disneyland, but to expand the capabilities that they have, give them more flexibility, and to take areas like parking lots that they now have and be able to make them zone for hotels, restaurants, and theme rides. What we'd like to do, though, is develop differently. Right now, things are zoned for hotel or for parking. We'd like to make it a more integrated experience because we know that's what our guests are looking for. What does that mean, integrated experience? Well, it means that um, you might have have a hotel right next to an attraction and it and really allows us to bring um, lands that are more immersive like they've done at other parks around the world in Hong Kong uh, the world of frozen it would allow us to bring those kind of immersive lands just like you're looking at here with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge but first they have to deal with the political world in the land of Anaheim there's a process planning city council approvals etc but with a Disney expansion there's much for the city to gain Aaron Ryan with the city says a development agreement would include $45 million in street improvements in the Anaheim Resort area, $10 million in sewer improvements. $30 million for affordable housing, for Anaheim to use that money to potentially build 500 affordable apartments in our city, $10 million for sewer improvements. And from the operators of this park, $8 million would go for improvements at city parks all over Anaheim. If the Planning Commission approves tonight, then the next stop would be the City Council. They'll get a couple of shots at the apple by voting twice. That's a routine that normally City Councils do. And then Disney is looking at, if it gets passed, 40 years of possible planning as a result of what's going on right now. In Anaheim, Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.